such a lazy day. I am so bored. Yes, time is just not passing. Sugar, do you have any suggestions? What can we do? I can take you on an adventure, if you like. Yes, yes, please take us. Okay, I will take you to a distant place. You won't get scared, right? No, we won't. Okay, hold hands, everyone. I am taking you somewhere. My friend, I care for you and cannot see you so sad. Here, take this seed and plant it in a flower pot tonight. Thank you, my friend. What a beautiful flower bud. Oh, what a beautiful child. You are just the size of my thumb. I will name you Thumbelina. I love you, mother. My daughter. I am so happy to have you in my life. From now on, I will take care of you. I will make delicious food for you and read many stories to you. I will also make beautiful clothes for you. What a beautiful girl. I will take her with me to be my son's bride. Look, look! That frog is stealing Thumbelina. We must stop him. Oh no, he's getting away. Let's inform Thumbelina's mother. No, let's follow the frog before he vanishes along with Thumbelina. See, son? I found you a bride. She is beautiful, father, but she is too thin. Let us wait for a few days till she becomes a bit fat. I agree, son. I will place her on the lily leaf in the pond till then. That way she won't be able to run away either. I will go into the water and cut her loose. You guys grab the lily leaf. The current of the water will sleep you away, brave boy. Do not attempt what you plan. So what shall we do? You don't have to do anything. Look there. There she goes again. Let's follow her.
I think I will keep you with me. I would love your company. Oh no, Mr. Beetle. You and I are so different. How can we keep each other company every day? Yes, you are right. Okay, then you can go. Wow, she is free again. I don't think she needs our help. The swallow deserves it. What was she doing on the ground? Yes, she should have stayed in the air. Don't worry, you'll be fine soon. So nice and brave. Yes, she doesn't need our help at all. Thank you, my friend. I feel perfectly fine now. Why don't you come with me and I will take you to the Flower Kingdom? No, Swallow. I must find my way back home. Okay. What shall I do now? The frog will certainly make me marry his son. Thumbelina! Thumbelina! Grab my finger! Let's follow them! You are so beautiful. You seem like you have been born from a flower. You must be the flower princess. did not know about the flower princess. This is how she was born out of a flower. What an adventure for Thumbelina. And for us too. Thank you, Sugar, for bringing us here. You are welcome, my friends. Someone outside the window. Let me check. Jack, come back. It's your turn. Shh. Guys. 
Come over here. Have a look. Look over there, guys. It's a fox. Yum, yum, yum! Those grapes look delicious. If I could just reach them, I can have them all. Aww. Look at the fox. He wants our grapes. Sugar and I had them yesterday. They are delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you think the fox will make it? Those grapes are delicious. He should try harder. I wonder what's going on in the fox's mind. Sugar, can you please help us understand the fox's thought? Yes, sure. Mind, mind, be so kind. Tell us what is on the fox's mind. Oh, what juicy grapes. I will have them all. should rest for a little while and try again. That's it? Whoa, this fox is lazy. Grapes look raw. Ugh. I don't think these grapes are as juicy as they look. Ugh. They seem sour to me. I don't want to upset my stomach. That's why I shouldn't eat them. Huh? Such an unkind fox. <laughs> I don't want to eat sour grapes anyway. See what he did? Just because he couldn't reach the grapes, he called them sour? Yeah, and those grapes are tasty. But don't people do that too? Yes. People generally start disliking the things they can't get. Hey, now that the fox is gone, let's get some grapes. Yeah, let's go. Look at those strawberries. I could spend my entire day here. Don't worry, Joe. We are. Count me out, June. What? Why? Um, you won't believe me if I told you. Oh, enough with the suspense, Sugar. Tell us. Yes, Sugar. Where are you going now? There is a race between a tortoise and a hare. What? 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 See, exactly what I said. You won't believe me. No, no, we believe you, but it's just incredible. Yes, it is. How did this come to happen? Nobody knows how it started, but the hare challenged the tortoise for a race. You think you're better than me. I never said that, brother. Well, I will prove that I am better than you. 
I challenge you to a race. <laughs> That's not a fair race. Everyone knows you will win. Yes! Don't accept this tortoise. My friends, I don't believe in winning or losing. I only believe in hard and honest work. I am not afraid of racing the hare. Very well then. We shall meet here tomorrow to race. And you are telling us this now, Sugar? I say, let's go with Sugar to see the race. You guys go ahead. I will catch up in some time. Just as soon as I can move. Come on, Joe. How many strawberries did you really eat? Ugh, I think a bit too many. Behind the trees. Don't come out or you'll spook the animals. On your marks, get ready, go! Oh, he is never going to make it. Look at that hair go! What is thinking? Come on, let's follow the hare. But he's gone too far ahead now. Sugar, can you take us to the hare? Sure I can. Grab each other's hands. Thanks, Sugar. is coming. But what is he doing? Why is he slowing down? I told that silly tortoise that he would lose the race against me. <laughs> I'm sure he is still somewhere near the starting line. <laughs> I think I will just sleep under the shade of this tree for some time. I can finish the race later. I can't believe it. How can he just sleep? He knows he will win, so he doesn't care. Shh! Let's wait and see what happens. In so long, but the hare is still sleeping. Hey, look there, the tortoise is coming. Oh wow, the tortoise just went past the hare. But the hare doesn't know it. He's still fast asleep. I don't think the hare is going to win this race anymore. Let's follow the tortoise. We've been walking for over an hour. And no sign of the hare. And there's the finish line. How did this happen? The tortoise 
is going to win the race! Where is the hare? I saw him sleeping under a tree. I'll go see what he's up to. He won! He won! Congratulations, Tortoise! You won the race! <laughs> Wait! Wait for me! I was winning the race! Wow, Tortoise! How did you win this race? I just kept walking honestly without thinking of how good or bad I was at racing. Before I knew it, the finish line was there. What a wonderful thing to say and do. Yes, I am so inspired by it. I am so happy we came here. Thanks, Sugar. You are welcome. Joe, shall we go back to the strawberry farm now? Oh, no way. I'm going straight home now. Ugh. <laughs>